guys, what's up? Today's video is going to be on something that I've been using lately, especially for Photoshop. Um, it is going to be on how to install fonts on Windows Vista. Now, it's very, very simple, and there is different ways to do this, but this is my way. So first thing you're going to have to do is open up your web browser, open up a either a new one or a new tab, and go to defont.com. A link will be in the video description, and it will and the link and a uh, and the and a pop-up will be of the address. Now, once you get here, there is a whole bunch of fonts that you can choose from. You can uh, choose from fantasy, foreign, all sorts of stuff. So we're gonna look in the techno part, and let's get. Hmm, we'll get this one. Now, there is plenty of ones here that you can get. Here, let's make this bigger. There we go. Now, there's tons of them. You see, 15 pages of fonts. So, you can go through them all and look. I'm just going to get this one. Just click download. And there you go, it's done. Now, you're going to have to open up that zip file. minimize that and it should be either a TTF or something like that just drag that to your desktop and that's it now take this now with this file all you're going to have to do is put it in a folder in Windows and in order to find this folder is very easy just type in the search bar font and the first one should be under programs fonts click it now, check to make sure that this window looks exactly like this. Computer, OS, Windows, Fonts, or whatever the C partition is. But make sure you are in Windows Fonts. Now, in order to install a font, all you have to do is take it and copy it in here. It's going to ask you for permission. Just click Continue. And that's it. That's all it takes. You're done. Now you can either you can delete this or keep it in a folder safe. That's totally up to you. Now just to show you guys this font, I'll go into font, we'll go to size 14, and we will find the is it nitrous font. Okay, and here we go. You see, this is this is the font. I have tons of fonts that I have installed on here. I have things like this. But Windows load, I don't know why it's doing that. See, there we go. Now, it doesn't take much to do this and I think it's really cool. You can use these fonts in anything and aim and all sorts of stuff. Uh, especially for Photoshop if you're trying to make different things with text and different types of fonts. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. Please make sure you rate this 5 stars and shoot these videos out to your friends. Uh, all the links will be in the right of this video in the video description and please make sure you subscribe.